Hi guys, this is Sean from the Spectre 479 brand of nighttime lighting and eyewear. Just wanted to make a quick video for you. Today I'm set up in my closet here, um, and I've got a single LED lamp that we're illuminated with. This is a Sora, uh, Sora Radiant. It's actually one of the best quality uh, LED lamps you can buy right now. And that is uh, best as far as color rendering. Uh, it has a more natural profile than most LEDs. This is a handheld spectrometer. This is a really fun toy. So check this out. What you're looking at there is the spectral characteristics of an incandescent lamp. So that's just your old fashioned lamps. And you see it doesn't have a lot of blue and just a nice progressive curve up. So let's go ahead and take a reading of what this LED looks like. Okay, and that's the light in this room illuminated only by the LED. You see that blue spike right there? That is the characteristic of LED lights. So that is the problem with LEDs. That's why we're having so much issues with them. That's why they're bad for your eyes. That's why they're bad for your sleep. Uh, interestingly, the reason for that is that all of the LED lighting is actually a blue light. So it's a blue LED that's ultra efficient. Uh, there was Nobel Prize recently won for the uh, blue LED. And so what it has is it has a white phosphorus coating on it that glows. Um, and they can tune it so you got your cool white and you got all the way down to like a 2800 color temperature, which is a nice soft uh, white light. But because it's a blue LED, you've always got that blue spike in there. So even with this one that has a very good color rendering, you know, it still has a pretty high spike right there, uh, much higher than the old fashioned incandescent lamps. So what we're going to do now, I want to show you this. This is our daytime lens. And take a look at this. So watch that blue spike. What I'm going to do is just filter it out. Okay, you see that? So it's allowing almost all the blue range of light in, but it's just chopping off that high peak. So it's a lot more of a natural profile. Okay, so there it is again. And then this is it filtered. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? So since we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the nighttime, nighttime one. So let's go back to our ambient light. So this is really going to make a difference. So watch this. Yeah, you see that? So it, it eliminated all of the blue light and most of the green light, which is exactly what you want for nighttime. Let me show you the ambient again. Yep. Okay. So anyways, yeah, this is a fun toy. I, I love it. Um, uh, and, and I actually plan on making some more videos for you guys. Uh, there's some pretty interesting stuff. I've got a bunch of um, nighttime lamps. There's a whole bunch of companies now selling nighttime uh, lamps that, that have lower blue light. And so uh, I'm going to go through and test them. Let's see if they live up to their claims. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. That's going to be over the next couple of weeks. Uh, but that's all I've got for you today. Thanks, guys.